So under type 1, here we have problem 2. So if you observe here, in the given question, we have p square plus q square is equal to n p q. It is independent of x, y and z and only p and q are present. So this equation is of the form f of p comma q is equal to 0. So we have to first write that. So after writing that, we shall mark the given equation as equation 1. So therefore, equation 1 is of the form f of p comma q is equal to 0. The second step is we have to assume that z equal to ax plus by plus c is the solution of equation 1. So we are going to assume that the solution of equation 1 is z is equal to ax plus by plus c. And let us mark this as equation 2. The next step is we have to partially differentiate z with respect to a and with respect to b. So when we do so, partially when differentiated with respect to a, okay, it will be equal to, so by plus c will become 0. So you will have only, I mean partially differentiating with respect to x and y. Sorry, we have to differentiate partially with respect to x and y. So when partially differentiated with respect to uh, y, we get it as b and partially differentiating with respect to x, we get it as a. So therefore, the value of p is equal to a and the value of q is equal to b. Till here, all the steps are same for all the problems. Now we have to substitute p is equal to a and q is equal to b in a. Uh, in equation 1 that is we mark this as equation 3 and we take and substitute in equation 1 so substituting p equal to a and q equal to b in equation 1 we get a square plus b square is equal to n multiplied with a b now from this we have to solve for b so this can be written as taking n a b to the left we can rewrite this equation as b square minus n a b plus a square is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation in b. So when we solve it for b we get the value of b to be equal to plus or I mean um, minus b actually the formula will be my minus b but here at the place of b we have n a so it should be minus of minus n a plus or minus square root of n minus n a square minus 4 the value of a here is 1 so and then c is a square so minus 4 a square the whole divided by 2 so from this because uh, b is a quadratic in, I mean this equation is a quadratic in b, we are using the quadratic formula for the solution. And then from this the value of b will be minus into minus becomes plus. So n a plus or minus, now uh, square root of, this can be written as n square a square. So we will have n square a square minus 4 a square the whole divided by 2. So therefore the value of b will be further equal to n a plus or minus square root of a square is common and we have n square minus 4 divided by 2. And so the value of b will be equal to n a plus or minus this a square when come out of the, out of the square root it has to be written as a. And then square root of n square minus 4 the whole divided by 2. So this will give us the value of b that we are solving for and mark this as equation 4. The next step is we have to substitute the value of b that is equation 4 in the solution that we have assumed that is in equation 2. So substituting equation 4 in equation 2 at the place of b we have to substitute equation 4 that we have obtained that is the value of b that we have obtained. So let us take and substitute. So we have taken and substituted the value of b in equation 2. Now after substituting from this we can take a common and so this equation can be written as z equal to ax and plus this uh, a when taken common a and we can write this y by 2 multiplied with n plus or minus square root of n square minus 4 plus c. So this, the, this can be marked as equation 5 and this gives us the complete solution. 
so after this what we have to write we have to write that there is no singular integral for f of p comma q equal to 0 okay why this there is no singular integral because if we try to find it will the result will be absurd and this concept i have explained in our previous problem problem 1 so kindly go through that and then follow this lecture now in order to find the general solution we have to put c is equal to f of a in equation 5 so let us do that. So when we put c is equal to f of a in equation 5, we get z to be equal to ax plus ay by 2 multiplied with n plus or minus square root of n square minus 4 plus c is what? It has been taken as f of a. So write it as f of a and mark this as equation 6. Next step is we have to differentiate equation 6 partially with respect to a. So when we differentiate equation 6 partially with respect to a, we will have dou z by dou a to be equal to, now here when differentiated partially with respect to a, x will be treated as constant and the differentiation of a is 1 and so you will be getting x plus here also you have only 1 a. So, when differentiated it becomes 1 and you will be left out with y by 2 multiplied with n plus or minus square root of n square minus 4. And plus the differentiation of f of a is f dash of a. After this we have to put dou z by dou a to be equal to 0. So, what we get dou z by dou a is this that is x plus y by 2 multiplied with n plus or minus square root of n square minus 4 plus f dash of a is equal to 0. Now we have to mark this as equation 7. So we have obtained equation 6 previously. From that we differentiated with respect to a and we have equated it to 0 and we have obtained equation 7. Now we can complete the problem by, by just saying that eliminating a from equation 6 and equation 7, we arrive at the general solution. So I have concluded the, concluded the problem by saying eliminating a from equation 6 and equation 7, we get the general solution. In fact, we can say eliminating a between equation 6 and equation 7. So hope you have understood how to solve uh, the problem when it is of the type f of p comma q equal to 0. Uh, we will solve more problems on this topic in our future videos. Thank you.